going to be a food video and I love making food videos even though I suck at cooking. But I put together some different ideas for breakfast or lunch or snacks or just like whenever you feel like eating. But I have some different variety of foods and they're all super delicious so I think you guys are going to like this video. Also, what else was I going to even say? I don't even know. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. We should try to get it to 20,000 thumbs up in a week. That would be really cool. You can also thumbs up if it looks like I got electrocuted. Um, I had a little mishap with my overnight curls. They're a little too curly. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on into the video. So the first thing I'm showing you guys how to make are these donuts and we are going to cheat by using Pillsbury biscuits and you can use any kind but the flaky kind. So I'm just taking a circle shape and cutting a hole out of the middle. Then you're going to put some oil in a pan and heat this up over medium heat and then you want to very, very carefully put your donuts in there with tongs. Do not use your fingers or your hands or anything. And if you're younger, I would recommend adult supervision. Even I had adult supervision. Parker helped me with this because I was scared of burning myself with the oil But you just cook them until they look finished and the middle is done and you can decorate them however you want I made some cinnamon sugar snickerdoodle donuts And then I also had some chocolate frosting and put sprinkles on the top because there is nothing cuter than a donut that has chocolate frosting and rainbow colored sprinkles So these are so yummy. They are definitely a favorite at my house and this whole plate was gone in like five minutes Next, I'm going to show you guys how to make some healthy-ish mozzarella sticks. So you're going to need some egg roll wraps and some string cheese. So start by putting your string cheese a little bit off center and then you can dip your finger in water to help like seal down the wrap. But I'm just folding one corner and then folding like the sides and then rolling this all the way up and sealing the end with water. And this was the funnest thing I have ever done in my entire life. If you guys have never made any kind of like wraps like this, then you totally should because I seriously could do this every day for the rest of my life and not get bored because it was so fun and, but I like it so I am just finishing up making all my little cheese sticks and then I'm just going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes and then I like to eat them with marinara sauce and they are so good and a somewhat healthier version of mozzarella sticks because they are baked and not fried <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you guys some five-minute frozen strawberry yogurt. So you're going to need half a cup of plain yogurt, and I actually couldn't find plain, so I used vanilla, and it was super yummy. Then you're going to put in two cups of strawberries, three tablespoons of honey, and then the juice of half of a lemon. And this stuff is so good, you just blend it up in your blender or a food processor or whatever you want, and then just stick it in a little cup or jar or bowl or whatever and sprinkle some granola on the top. And it is that easy, so it's only a couple ingredients and they're all healthy and you just blend it up and have a yummy snack. <laughs> Next, we're going to make some blueberry Greek yogurt pancakes. So you're going to need a little container of blueberry Greek yogurt, then one egg, and you're going to just mix these up together. And I thought it was really fun to mix them like in the yogurt container because that was just like unique, you know? Then you're also gonna need half a cup of flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then you can go ahead and mix the rest of this all together and you're going to have some really thick pancake batter. So I'm just putting some Pam in my pan and cooking these pancakes. And I decided to make little mini pancakes because those are just more fun and if you guys want to you can add more blueberries so I'm just sticking some of these onto my pancakes Singing in the shower. So once these are cooked, I'm cutting up some bananas to eat with them. And then I also like to drizzle these in honey because it's just more healthy than syrup. So these are so good. You guys know that I love making like different kinds of pancakes. It's one of my passions in life, definitely. So those are all of my different food ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys make any of these foods, which you totally should because they seriously are all so good, then tweet me a picture with the hashtag cooking with Aspen. And then I can favorite and retweet and reply to all of your pictures. And seriously, this is probably my favorite food video that I've ever made because everything was so good. I'd also just like to say that I am so proud of myself for not burning those pancakes because that rarely happens. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. And that is all, bye.